level, uh, <laughs> class three knows work one, what we start working is we start combining concepts. So the dogs understand the white boxes mean something good could be in one of these boxes. What's behind door number two? But what we want them to start to do too is like keep in mind those corners that we did last week, the heights that we did two weeks ago, we're gonna put those two things together. So I've created a corner with some heights here, but you don't necessarily have to do this. If you have a bedroom and you can put some boxes in places, that would be fine too. You don't have to make walls happen. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna take him in, I'm gonna ask him to F it. Again, if I use F-I-N-D, he's gonna go berserker. So I'm just, for us, F it. Um, he's gonna go in, he's gonna search, and then I'm gonna take him in from the other side and have him look at it from that side too. So I want him to look up, I want him to look down, I want him to check that corner. I want him to start putting all of these things together. And again, this is going to look a little bit different for your dog um, who's just learning these concepts. Ready, Kevin? Find it. Okay. <laughs> wow. Good job. He's like, I know where it is. So we were setting this up and he was sitting back there. So odor is coming out of this and underneath. So I think he knew exactly where it was while he was sitting back there. Good boy, over here, sit, sit, wait. This way. And again, we don't necessarily have to get a sit. In fact, I'm actually gonna ask him not to in this case. This is what I want you guys to do. If they're pulling to get in, awesome. I want that drive. Captain, find it. Oh, good, he checked the threshold. <laughs> He's like, is this a trick? Did she put it in the threshold spot? No, okay, it's in the corner. Um, so if your dog is getting really good and figures out the game, we can make it harder. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Tap, touch. Sit. Stay. So play around with this concept of heights and corners together. I could then put it up on the chair. I could do a couple things. But again, if you're getting them to work for their breakfast or their dinner, this is, this is how they can just eat their meal. Like you can just put like three or four cookies in at a time and then ask them to find it. That could be a really great game for them. We have some other exercises that you guys can try for fun too in the daily challenges. I've been trying to put some of them in this playlist as well. Um, but if you can't, there's like scattering food in the backyard and asking them to find it. And then they can use their nose to try to search for things. Um, there's snuffle mats. There's all sorts of things that you guys can do to try to encourage your dog to use their nose in a more appropriate way, um, in a more dog way, in a way that they understand the information coming in. So you can play with find it in a variety of ways. And next week, we're gonna show you how to use things that are not chairs and boxes to encourage your dog to start using their nose, they're not gonna have these necessarily mean there's something in this box. The boxes are going to indicate the game is going to start, but there might not be any food in any of the boxes. So let's come back next week and see what that looks like.